Thoughts on Diego Lopez being a more explosive version of Ortega and will he be champ in two to three years? Anyone else get the vibe that his chin's not all that? I can just look at a chin sometimes. I have a weird feeling. I love Diego Lopez. I think he's going to be a great fighter, but I definitely can see him getting chinned at some point by someone, man. He was eating bombs off Evloev. Evloev is not a power puncher. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's not a power puncher. All his losses are TKO, yeah. Evloev doesn't throw bombs. Evloev does not throw bombs. He just, he just doesn't. But uh, I don't know. He looks like he's a little long-necked. You know what I'm saying? I think he can be good, though. I'm just giving a bit of criticism, you know? Do you think they should add more weight classes, 165, 195, and no weight limit to heavyweight, etc.? And how do you feel about grounded knees and 12 to 6? I feel like grounded knees and 12 to 6 should be legalized 100%. Or Aljo would have never touched a belt. No 195. No 195. 165? Yes. If you make 195, there's already not enough talent at 205 or middleweight, and it'll just ruin those divisions. So only when there's too much talent at 185 and 205 should we be doing, you know what I'm saying? That type of shit. Um, hey, Guru, I have a question. In order to perfectly call a fight, what are the things or points a referee should consider to prevent bad stoppages? Are the guy's eyes on his opponent when he falls to the ground? Does his hands go back to stop himself from hitting the canvas too hard? Um, does he immediately move once he hits the canvas? That type of shit. A couple follow-up shots aren't bad if the guy's still moving when he hits the ground. You know what I'm saying? As long as the guy ain't fucking out cold on the ground immediately, not moving at all, then you shouldn't be jumping in straight away. You know what I'm saying?